I am Father John Condrese. I'm the Provincial Superior of the Cambodian Missionaries in the United States. Uh, when I was a young priest, I was assigned to South Africa, and my first mission was called Waterfall. It was a very large parish. We had 26 small communities to follow. At Easter time is when we had baptisms of adults, and the communities would agree to go to one of our larger churches and all go to the same place. It was an all-night event. So they would arrive before sunset. They would have tea, which meant they drank tea literally and had bread or biscuits. Then we would have a practice for the Easter vigil. We would have confessions. And we would start the actual Easter vigil probably about 11.30. And then we would baptize 70 or 80 people. Now, the church was cram-packed, and there were people all around the church outside with doors and windows open. There were children everywhere, including sitting all over the sanctuary under our feet. <laughs> we would finish about four in the morning, and then they would wait until light, have tea again, and go home. We were not permitted to live in the African area. This was the time of apartheid, so the, the mission center was in a white area, surrounded by African areas. We had to have a separate permit to go into each area renewed each year. I could be taken away for any reason. It was taken away if they thought we talked too much about real problems or real issues. Waterfall Mission which was founded by the Comboni missionaries in 1924. And when I arrived in January 1972, uh, many areas still had not been evangelized. People had been forced, because of apartheid, they'd been forced out of the cities and other areas and crammed into small areas where they were forced to live uh, without sanitation, clean water or other services. Diseases were rampant, especially typhus and typhoid and things like that. The government had no hospitals. The churches had hospitals in the area that was not there. It had no heat in the houses. We had no hot water. The African people were extremely friendly. I had to be afraid of police and military. And they were dangerous. You didn't know what they would do when you came across them. I got in trouble once. They threatened to put me in jail for talking too much. <laughs> so we had a, a double experience. We would have very faithful Christians coming to church to celebrate Easter with great fervor. But then the other side is that there'd be a very dangerous situation. That's why, for example, at Easter, the people would not dare to travel at night. The most important people in the church were the catechists. We had uh, four or five catechists to vary from time to time in the parish, but there was one called Frank Muhani. He had been catechist for the church for probably 50 years before he retired. He was very insightful. He was able to understand how Christianity related to his culture and his people. He was also able to understand the injustices of apartheid and what was being done to his people. He was a very calm, peaceful person. I think before he died, he received the Papal Medal of Honor. And uh, he deserved it.